Welcome, Timmy. We're here. You've got your own camera. Well, you always do. But we're now joined this week, ladies, by our special two-shot camera. Hello, everybody. They're, they're over there. It's like, no, you. I did do that first. Oh, did you? Work, working. All right. Okay. Uh, looking. Excellent. Working and looking. Looking and working. <laughs> working generally. <laughs> now then. Yes. Uh, Lee. Well, speaking of working, one of my news items. Oh, welcome to the news roundup uh, section of the show, Good. ladies and gentlemen. Good. Remember we were telling you uh, weeks ago about these Italian uh, town hall workers who literally weren't turning up for work. They were just. They weren't even clocking in. Just, they just didn't turn there. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there was. Uh, did you see about. Uh, oh, let's see, now I should. Should have this. Should have this written down somewhere else. You're doing what I do now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll just. I'll just. Oh, here we go. Staff. Staff at, at an Italian hospital, Lee. <laughs> Italian hospital suspected of shirking on a grand scale. 94 of them. 94 people. One was working as a chef. Another doctor was playing tennis and shopping. <laughs> but then it says. If managers fail to keep on top of this, they'll be sacked too. And I thought, well, what if they're on it as well? What if they're <laughs> shirking? Who's, who's looking after them? It's all the way to the top, isn't it? How far will it go, Lee? <laughs> the Prime Minister. And Matteo Renzi, What's I think he'll, here? he'll go, ah, nobody doing? <laughs> yeah. Who can be mad at those people? Yes. They're so stylish beautiful, and beautiful people. Yeah. Hey, Lee, <clears throat> did you know there's a veg crisis in Europe, vegetable crisis in Europe? Supermarkets are unable to stock certain vegetables. It says here, Scotland, unaffected. <laughs> <laughs> Just tip that up. Um, tips, are you having trouble sleeping, Lee? Do I look like I've not slept for a while, no, Tim? <laughs> I don't know. But sleep tips, it says. Admittedly, it's for the over 50s, but, you know. Yeah. Sleep tips, expose yourself to natural sunlight during the daytime. Now, are you fond of exposing yourself during the daytime, Lee? <laughs> in the daylight, I was thought to me. <laughs> you know, don't drink alcohol to help you sleep. Ooh. Just enjoy it. I think what they're saying, though, Tim, is we should drink more during the day. Yeah, <laughs> drink more during the day and don't get dressed. Yeah. And then it says, try to eat dinner about three hours before going to bed. Yes. Well, obviously in Lancashire, dinner's about 12 o'clock. Yeah. Tea, tea time's about five. So you start your first pint at 10 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Completely <laughs> naked. Dinner. Have a pasty. <laughs> hey, this show sponsored by Cars Pasties, by the way, this week. Did you know that, Lee? No, I didn't. This week's exclusive sponsor, Cars Pasties. Am I going to get a free steak bake? Otherwise, I'm not some <laughs> dorse in this. Did you know, Lee, and ladies and gentlemen, that Greater Manchester is the illegal monkey capital of the country? <laughs> That's funny. I didn't know That's it, funny it, I didn't know it was a thing. Yeah. That, but many are suffering without their vital social, dietary and environmental needs. Well, that's just basically most of the stone roses. Uh, <laughs> ah, yeah. Give them a banana. Now, <clears throat> time for a picture round, Lee. OK. All right. I'm on ready. your On your screen now, and in front of Lee, on the big screen, you will see a number of pictures. I'm going to describe them for those of you listening in black and white. Right. Horse's arse, cock, tit, knob, bell end. Now then, Lee, what links all those pictures? Is it a president? Oh, very close. Yes, of the current president? Yes. Is it? Uh, Could it be? It's Donald Trump. Well done. (laughs) Or I would have accepted Paul Nuttall. Boris Johnson, or indeed Kim Jong Il. In the news this week, Lee, did you know it was International Women's Day? Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's a very important thing. Anyway. Closely followed by Steak and Blowjob Day. Have you oh, noticed? that's there's, right. Yeah, there's, there, there's, there's the, a definite connection there. There's a connection. Anyway, yes. American women. This is in the news, everyone. Uh, this is flashing on your screen right now. Speaking of... Uh, American women go on strike to highlight their clout. <laughs> now... Is that wisely? It's a bold step for feminism. I'll give them that. There was also um, in, in the HR an um, underperforming supermarket worker humiliated by boss. Jesus. So what he did is he poured water over his head in front of the staff meeting to, 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 to say, you know, you've yeah. done very badly. Which is brilliant, right? Then you find out it's in China. You go, oh, oh right, well, well, okay. Part of the course. Yeah, maybe a little bit extreme. But then you find out the container of water was five litres. So, Look, that must have taken ages. <laughs> Meanwhile, this guy's just going. <sighs> and then there was that time you didn't I remember when. Oh, you didn't hit this target either. It was waterboarded. <laughs> well, speaking of China, Lee, this all connects, would you believe? Who could have thought it? In the you couldn't make it up department, Lee. You yeah. love this. Chinese officials reprimanded. Somebody's always getting bullets in China. Have you noticed? <laughs> Chinese officials reprimanded for dozing off in a meeting about motivation in the workplace. <laughs> In the Bolton News, Lee. See, I've got out of the habit of calling it the Bolton Evening News now. Bolton News, everyone. 
two hungry tradesmen have been testing breakfast provision in the area. You know, they go to different barn, bam, barn shops and, and get like bacon, sausage, eggs, and, and they judge it and they put the results on YouTube. Brilliant. And they're actually getting, obviously, more hits than us. <laughs> That's right. Wouldn't be difficult. Wouldn't be difficult. So, this week, we are doing the yes. pub roundup. Good. Pub roundup, Lee. Uh, sponsored by Cars Pasties. Free state bake for Lee Tomo. <laughs> But let's not forget the original warm welcome of the no name in Harwood. Beautiful place, beautiful people, mm-hmm. beautiful ale. A new contender in the pub roundup, Lee, the Spread Eagle, Bromley Cross. Yes. Spread Eagle, Bromley Cross, everyone. Just been done up. Also with Cars Pasties. Excellent. Both these pubs sell pasties. There's a theme, Lee. I do quite like the Crofters, which doesn't sell pasties, it does do nice food and drink as well. Yeah, but they haven't paid me, so I'll, I'll cut that bit. You're out. getting paid? Yeah. <laughs> But you saw Cars Passes is a theme. The theme is rapid weight gain. But anyway, <laughs> let's hear it for Cars Passes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, baked goods to the gentry since 1753. All right, that's the commercial over and done with. Lee, who's on the next Bolton Comedy Night? Uh, well- <laughs> <laughs> Lee, did you know a US female politician has, uh, has instigated legislation that men be fined $100 for masturbating? as it's a crime against the unborn child, unless they're doing it in a hospital or clinic. Now, that's just asking for trouble. There'll be hordes of men just... A&E, just I'll, in just, the I'll just be two minutes, love. I'm just flipping <laughs> into a and the, the more local ridiculous fine is in Rochdale. Oh, yeah. They're now fining £100 on the spot fines for people who are swearing in the town centre. Really? Just, I mean, and, and, it's, and, it's, and it is to try and catch out what they call the unsociable element of the town centre. So, yeah, well. if you're a... White lightning drinking tramp. What yeah. you need on top of every other insult that society yeah. has thrown at you is a hundred pound fine. If you've got a hundred quid that you haven't already spent on smack. <laughs> That's right. Well, speaking of speaking of swearing, me, I book my trains through the trainline.com. This isn't a plug, frankly. They haven't paid me either. But the trainline.com. Have you seen their advertising campaign? No, I'm not. Oh, tell you it drives me nuts to the point of homicidal rage. It's some abstract nonsense. And then it says, timetables, trains, you know, book with us. And then it just goes, I am train. And I think, <laughs> you am c- That's going. <laughs> no. I am annoyed. <laughs> I'm just going to cut that little middle bit out so you'll get the C and the T either side. Problems with the modern world, Lee. You know about this French guy who sues, who's suing Uber for the breakup of his marriage after a glitch in his Uber app or whatever showed his missus where he was going all the time. He wasn't with her, let's put it that way. <laughs> We've got a local celebrity and author and raconteur and general good lad called Matthew Santley, who's off round the Far East at the moment writing his novels. Oh, his book, yes. Yeah, Lost in the Crowd. Yeah, yeah. Go to lostinthecrowdbook.org or something and read his blog. Very funny indeed. And he's a great lad. And he'll be uh, back in the Spread Eagle come June time, stuffing his face with a car's pasty. <laughs> As will I, ladies. I'm a ye old man myself, but he's going to have to cut that out as well. Well, yeah, have we done the plug for the next comedy night? Uh, end of the month, Smog Roberts, come along, you'll have a great time. We've got Do Lally opening, singing, beautiful, all part of International Women's Day, obviously. Oh, right. of course, yeah. Yes, yes. Nice so, link to just, just to end of the month, Hennigan's, Berry Road, Bolton, is that yes. right? Yes, yes. Beautiful. Can I also say, they have a Thai restaurant in there, and the Thai food is phenomenal. Yes. Good, good, good. Book your table, eat, stuff your face, and laugh your head off. Yes. Gorge yourself yeah. on comedy. Yes. Lee, we've done the plugs, we've done the pubs, the comedy night, the cars pasties, we've done a news roundup. Is there anything else you'd like to add, or anything you'd like to explain? <laughs> I think I should quit while I'm ahead, because <laughs> I've had some funny moments in there. <laughs> Which I'll soon eradicate. Good. All right, thanks, everybody. <coughs> See you next time. Cheers, Lee.